of right is Levi and we, and we will do Spearman. Hold up, hold up. First of all, your name is not Levi, you are Mohit. Second yes. of all, I'm going to do the experiment. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello everyone, it's me. I'm back for week three of the KHD A Streak Week. Eight. Streak yes. Week Challenge. And this week is the science week and I love science. So let's get on to it. Now I'm gonna introduce the person who will do the experiments. Me. But first, you have to subscribe Safety. to my channel and, and also, and I'm me. gonna be doing three experiments for today. So okay, here is the person who is going to be doing the experiment. Come on, let's call him. Wow. Come on, let's go call him. And today I am going to be doing the experiment. And today, and today I'm gonna be doing the awesome experiments. So see you doing the experiment. Okay, everyone. So uh, here are the ingredients for all of them. So for so you will need two transparent glass like these. You're gonna need two transparent glass. Then you're going to need two eggs. You're gonna need two eggs, whole eggs. And then you're gonna need some color, any color that you prefer, you can take it. So on to the first experiment. So for the first experiment, you're gonna need one cup and you're also gonna need one whole egg. Okay, so first you grab the vinegar and pour it carefully into the glass. I think so, you have to pour it full cup. It'll take some time, so I'll just get to you when it's done. All right, so here is the half cup of vinegar. Now you have to grab the egg, carefully put it inside the vinegar and then Grab any color that you like and just carefully pour it into the cup. Then grab any spoon and start mixing the color so that the egg also mixes within it. So I'll see you when it is done. Hello everyone. So now it has been one day. So now it is time to check what the eggs have been. So the first experiment as it was the bouncy egg experiment. So let's take the egg out from there. Oh yeah, this is a bouncy egg. Take a look at it. Here it is. You can tell that this is really bouncy. And also another thing, this egg has become a little bit bigger than the normal egg. Yeah, so here is the eggs. This is the normal size egg, the one that we used at the start, and this is the size the egg has become. And when we were actually uh, keeping it inside for storage for one day waiting, this egg was fizzing a lot because you can see this all fizz is stuck. It was fizzing a lot. And uh, so this is the normal egg, and as you can see, it's really, really hard. So and this is a new egg, it's not that hard. But the yolk is still inside, so don't drop it that hard. Don't drop it like from high up, otherwise the yolk will all come out. So I'm gonna drop it from down, three to one. Uh-oh. For the second experiment, you're gonna need an egg and a, a needle or some sort of like that. Then grab a plate, and you see the top here? Just make a little hole. And then pour out the the yolk and the albumin so that you have an empty white shell. The whole egg and on the top there's this tiny hole. As you can see the yolk is inside. We're going to pour it into that plate. Okay, so now remember the color that you had. Just pour it into the cup. Then again for this experiment and for the second one again grab, grab some vinegar. And pour it in half cup again. Not like last time, half cup. No mistakes. This is gonna take a while. Half. Yeah. 
half cup, it doesn't look like it's gonna work that well. So I think so, we're almost there. Yeah, we're almost up to there. We almost have enough. Yeah, I think that much is enough. enough. So that is enough. Now we're gonna put the very egg in. Pause. Wait a second, guys. I paused the video, not you guys, all right? So, just pause the video for a sec. I need to tell you, stick to the end of the video for a awesome bonus experiment. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. You can do Sorry, different stuff. On. Don't put the egg in. Mix it. Don't make a mess, guys. Don't make a mess. So you gotta mix Don't it until the mess. color is like uh, mixed with the vinegar, which happens really quick. So it's mixed, now time to put in the egg. So now we emptied the shell. So this is only the white shell. We made a hole here, like this. We made a tiny hole and we emptied all of it out. Make sure the egg is warm, otherwise it will be hard for the yolk and the abdomen to come out. So here is the egg. I'm gonna put it in. Empty. Yeah, it's an empty shell. Okay, so here's the empty shell. Now we're gonna put it into the colored vinegar. There you go. For you guys to see. Boom. So I guess now. The spoon that you previously had and just, you know, like push the egg into the vinegar. It's like refusing to go in or something because we emptied it so it's like floating. It's saying, I don't wanna swim, I wanna stay. Oh, this is gonna be hard, kind of. The only way is to push it. Ugh. I'll see you when this is done. This is gonna take a really long time. So this is the second experiment. Here is the glass, as well as the last one. This was also fizzing from this area, but I, when I'm turning it, it just won't turn. So let, uh, let's take it out. So as you can see, the vinegar destroyed the shell over here. It, it, it The vinegar, I think so, was a little bit strong. So it destroyed the shell here. I'll show it to you guys. This is the one where we removed the yolk. See here, it, it was destroyed by the vinegar. It's, this part of the shell was uh, on the top and this was underneath. The part that was underneath inside of the vinegar that part got destroyed and became like this but this is the part that was not on uh, this part was the one that was on the top and uh, why did this happen this is because this we removed the yolk so it was not heavy and it, it, because heavy things uh, do not float they do not flow they sink and and this was not heavy at all so this just uh, stayed floating and it got destroyed like this by the vinegar so that is it bye see you next week okay everyone so for the last one it is a bonus uh, trick and an experiment grab a tissue paper like this and then fold it in half then grab a marker and just trace your hand or trace something else trace your hand with a marker like this you have to be careful, don't mess this up. Make it a little bit dark, like that. Make it a little bit dark, so there's the hand. Then grab any two colored markers. And you see, don't do this, otherwise your thing, it will get ruined. Then just grab anything, and here you have the one of the hands. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna make a germ like we're gonna make a germ type of drawing so a germ just like a cloud or something you can make your own germ type of drawing for now i'm gonna do three all right then grab the color uh, markers that you chose and color in every uh single one of the germ drawings that you drew with the colors that you have took for i took a uh, yellow and green so here we go so there we go yellow is done 
and then you have green just to make it look a little bit colorful I uh, use two colors otherwise you can use one if you want this is this drawing is just like a reminder to coronavirus all right so here you go and mm -hmm. fold it back in half the drawing so this is the hand and inside it are the germs then you grab a tray or a plate or you can go to your sink or you can go to your sink just fill up some water then grab your tissue paper and then three two one when you wash your hands you cannot when you don't wash your hands you cannot see any germs when you wash them booyah those are the germs that is the virus now stay safe from the virus i'm out